I can actually kill this guy if I wanted to because I've gotten everything from him, but I'm not. This place took me so long. Not even because the like whole lighthouse thing was very confusing, but it was just, I think I definitely went there under leveled, relatively speaking, and it took me so long. It's a very cool POI though. Yeah, again, so these statues, you talk to them and they show you the way to a cave or a POI that contains a boss um, that gives you a death route. Like there's one here-ish. But it's interesting that A, that that's marked on my map when the other ones aren't. And B, that it's still showing the line. Like maybe once you beat that cave, the whole entire icon goes away but like there's one here there's one here and they're not showed on the map shown on the map Ooh, i forgot i can go talk to ranala again you know what's funny is that makes me think like obviously he's he worked under pep but it's kind of one of those where like he he really learned under pep because um remember uh well City did it in one transfer window, if I'm not mistaken, right? They spent 200 mil on defenders in one transfer window when they got Kyle Walker and... I think they got Kyle Walker, Cancelo, and one other defender. What did she do again? Art thou now assured of thy want to be born anew? Rebirth, cosmetics. Okay, it can change my appearance. Rebirth, use a larval tier to accept rebirth. I think that's uh, if you want to reset your skills. I think that's if you want to uh, respec, as they call it in gaming. If I wanted to respec, that's what that does, I believe. Key items, larval tiers. Being born anew allows the reallocation of attributes boosted by leveling up. Gotcha. The curse mark of death. Curse mark carved into the discarded flesh of Ronnie the Witch, also known as the half-wheel wound of the centipede. This curse mark was carved at the moment of death of the first demigod and should have taken the shape of a circle. However, two demigods perished at the same time, breaking the curse mark into two half-wheels. Ronnie was the first of the demigods whose flesh perished, while the Prince of Death perished in soul alone. There's a little feeling of like Harry Potter there with not only the, the different things dying with like the horcruxes, but the wound that Harry gets. <clears throat> okay, I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> Miniature Ronnie, a doll resembling Ronnie the Witch. From head to toe, every detail is perfect. This unresponsive doll seems pleasantly cool. <clears throat> banishes distress and bitter memories a gift bestowed by Rikar, sworn to blasphemy to lady tanith who unfortunately had no use for it my lord there could be no greater distress than to forget you oh on the night of the black knives someone stole a fragment of death from malekith the black blade and imbued its power into the assassin's daggers this mark is evidence of the ritual and hides the truth of the conspiracy. A uh, glintstone from within the sorceress Selen's body. Seemingly half alive, blood vessels are visible within. In essence, a primal glintstone is a sorcerer's soul. If transplanted into a compatible new body after their original body dies, the sorcerer will rise again. My apprentice, do you think it's dis distasteful? Woo! So the chick who's we went into the cave, you know where the big floating head was. We went down there. There's a dude standing next to a dead sorceress woman who's like still chained up to a wall. I think that's her. And then we'll put it into another body and she'll come back. That's cool. I also forget what's in this chest. I hope she doesn't get mad if I try to open it. It's locked. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to open it. Oh, I forgot all about all the underground stuff too. Lake of Rot Shoreside. We've done all of that. Hermit Merchant. Mm -hmm. 
abandoned merchant. This is that section that one of my recent YouTube videos where I'm recapping my Elden Ring playthrough. I that's where I'm at. Where the big like Minotaur guys and the the rats. Like 91. I think this is the way I came from. This is the way I need to go. 104. Oh yeah. Okay, this is the way that I came from. I don't want to back up too far. I don't know what's behind me. But I also know that what's in front of me is also very scary. Okay, not a good start. We definitely just waste or use several potions. But this is also my first time in this area, so you know sometimes you just have to, you know, make dents. Just gotta take it off and chunk. Oh, I'm about to get tornado sucked. This game is brilliant. I hadn't even touched the DLC. This is gonna collapse or something. This is bait. I do need to go with my main my main items here. Man. Trina. <laughs> Ooh. It says I can summon someone. God, it's the dragon that keeps showing up. Okay, so unfortunately, this is not one of those things where, like, if I've made the did my whole playthrough in one little, you know, month or so. Oh. But for those who've never played this game, you see this dragon multiple times. Like in one zone, he'll show up out of nowhere. You're just like doo -doo -doo, minding your own business, you're chilling, you're having a good time, and then he just all of a sudden you hear the music, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, you know, badass music. And then you see his name at the bottom of your screen, and you're like, oh, I almost barrel rolled off. You know it's on, right? And then you get him down to a certain amount of health damage, and then he flies off. And then maybe 20 gameplay hours later, you're in a different zone, same thing. You're chilling, all of a sudden music, the, the like sky changes, it's, it's so badass. The presentation's incredible. Now, what's interesting about this fight, though, is he's got no health bar. All right, he's got no, like, official... So, on the other ones, when you fight him, you get the official boss fight treatment, right? You see his, the name of him at the bottom of your screen with his the full health bar at the bottom. This makes it just look like he's a freaking regular mob chilling, just hanging out with the crew. I'm dead. Oh, great. I counted... I don't think I've staggered him yet. Not entirely thrilled that I started this with uh, 22,000 rooms. Again, that's not that much. We've lost 1.6-ish mil. 1.5, 1.6. Um, what was I say? But yeah. Yeah, definitely time to experience the hot beat. Maybe, okay, if we get into this again, maybe if I can die far enough back, the runes will be there and I can grab them before triggering this. Wishful thinking? Probably.
We did it. Like, I don't... I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I didn't start that yet. Oh, well. <clears throat> I don't know what my weapons are off the top of my head. I think my main sword is slashing. Maybe both my... The little Wolverine claws I use, slashing and my sword. Question mark. Let me target his body. That way my my rocks, my meteors, my meteors hit more. No, 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 no. I'm surprised there's no music. Especially given how epic the score is when you fight him in the other one. But it can't see. It doesn't have a game tag at the bottom. Oh, no way that gets counted. First health potion, though, so that's a good start. Eat. Okay, don't talk, Reed. All right, don't tell me too much. You know I don't like that. Like, I don't like to know one way or the other if more dragons are coming. And like I said, you fight this one. Or you, again. Yeah, I don't want I don't want to know that there are multiple of them. Because as far as I know, this is the same guy. And again, he shows up at multiple times throughout the game. In random zones. And you have to weaken him to a certain point and then he flies away. Look how cool he looks there. Oh my god, that is sick. Stagger him? I've hit him with so many meteors and I don't know if I've staggered him yet. Oh, there it is. Ask and you shall receive. No, I couldn't get to his eye. I was so far away from him. Honestly, i probably kill him if, while he staggers if I just put a night maiden's mist on him and then dump the rocks he's probably dead but i wanted to go stick it in his eye hole previous time i've dodged that diving significantly earlier i can't see shit i can't see shit i got greedy there Get me out of his bunghole. Dude, Nightmane's Mist eats mobs alive. I love it. Oh, I think I know why I got hit that second time. It's because there's like a little tidal wave of energy. He, he pulls his sword thing up, right? He slashes down, and that... You can get hit by that. That's its own attack, right? And then there's that little, like, wave of attack. Do you get staggered or not, nah, dude? Oh, my God. One HP. Get up. Kill yourself. Oh, this is no good. We're oh. we st All right, we have this. We don't need to use the rune art. We almost had him killed there. And we just need to buff ourselves better. Just buff ourselves better. Dude, the fact that he can... Oh my god. Okay, that's badass. Like, the fact that he can realistically air float... Turn it... Oh, I'm getting fucked up. This is not the run. That he can turn his head... Even when he's doing the fire. Like, it's not automatically in front of him. He can turn and, like... That was cool. 
would suck for me personally because it hurt. But. Oh, he's about to donkey kick me. I don't like being inside of him. I don't want to do it no more. I do think it's it's better to dodge that attack to the left because the wave moves from the player's left to right, it looks like. Okay, Nightmane's missed. He does have a tail whap. Oh, whip. Oh, we're stuck in it. See, this is one of those times where it's better to uh, take... You gotta manually take... Oh, I almost didn't get my runes. You gotta manually take off camera lock. Because if you're in camera lock and you're too close to mob, big ones especially, it can get really awkward. Like, you're just stuck there staring at their bunghole. No! Dude! My, if my enemy, if my guy attacks him, he probably dies. And I've had that happen before where like I die and um, no, no, absolutely not. Uh, where like me and a mob or a boss essentially traded, like we straight up traded. We killed each other at the same time and it actually like counted as in when I respawn, it acted as if I died truly, right? But when I came back, the, the like boss was dead, straight up dead. All this. We need him to summon ASAP. Please. I did my Terra Magica too early. Please reach him. Oh, we're just spamming it now. See, this is the glint. That, that is what it's called. Glintstone Pebble. See how it's out of range? Damn. I, I beat him if I'm not out of range now. Oh, I'm stuck in his claw. How about that? There was actually like a legitimate uh, hitbox there. Oh, get in him, in him, get in him, get in him. Get in the Night Maiden. Night Maiden's miss. Walk to me, big dragon. Oh my god, that time the pillar effed me. Earlier it's, it saved me, that time I tried to go behind it again and I accidentally barrel rolled into the pillar. Not really how we drew it up. Good news, first healing potion of the fight. Bad news, we've already used a lot of magic points. Oh, okay, cookie okay. Oh, he summoned little, oh. Honestly, for a while there, I thought that that was just part of the like arena. There's little red sparkles and like part of his quote unquote aura. But no, those are little like mini landmines. Noted. We're dead. We have a second. And we dodge. Oh, look at the composure there. Knowing I could get my heat my potion off and still time to dodge. Barely, but we did it. I love how a move I can dodge four out of every five times on the run where I need to dodge it, I don't. I've just lost two health potions on two attacks that I am so well versed at dodging. I can't see anything. I can't see you. Oh, he's doing an aerial firebomb. That should be illegal.
All right, last magic pot. Oh, it really be the ones I'm I'm great at dodging. Come down, come down and play. I am gonna get that melee attack. If if I can even hit him. See what I mean? This is where not doing camera lock is actually so better. So much better. Oh, that's how you get the ancient dragon ones. See, had I not read your message when he makes me feel like he's just a mob and not like a proper, proper, proper boss. And because I know that you need multiple of those ancient dragon stones, then you're like, oh, so you must fight something similar several times to get those collectible creed and i got the melee finisher we love that in main thanks for hanging out let's go yeah again like if I would have stayed locked on to either his head or his um what's it called his chest I I wouldn't have been able to attack him I just kept whiffing I feel like thanks for the iframe needed that oh the first one's not dead what the fuck You can tell the different, you know, last skill point I used, I used it on dexterity, which will help with melee in general, but in particular, the, the, web, the sword that I use, and you can, you can already tell the difference. I mean, it's a solid increase in damage. Wait, I didn't mean to do that. I forget what that does. I think that makes it so where people can now join my match, which I don't want. But I have it on offline mode, so I don't know if that's even physically possible. Even with me pressing that. Oh, okay. He was about to summon something fierce there, huh? Okay, I don't want to go too far ahead. Okay, so there's obviously that I can step on. Not ready to do that yet though. That's decently well hidden.
Boy, he sees me? He has seen me the whole time, apparently. Been trying to get to me for a while. That statue on the left, you see them several times in this game. They remind me of the, if you've seen the first, maybe it's the second, I think it's the second. The second, first? One of the Mortal Kombat movies, the, the original two from the 90s. Um, they, they go to like the outer, out, out, out world, you know? And uh, long story short, eventually Liu Kang is attacked by a reptile. He was originally hiding in one of those statues. Every time I see them, it makes me think of that. If I can clear this little area out, I'll be a good stopping spot. I would have. Uh, ooh. Um. I would have went and checked up on some of the NPCs and the like dialogue stuff that may or may not have opened up since beating the fire giant and doing the Halleck tree thing. Or whatever, not the Halleck tree, but burning the Ur tree. We'd have done more Pharaoh Missoula, beaten the dragon, and did even more Pharaoh Missoula. This part comes right now. beaten all of these mobs here in this little section so then I you know my OCD will let me run by them I feel like this is a this this side of grace is very close to the other other somber stone miners bell bearing So, all right, we got this new site of grace. We've done that one. We've cleared this whole area. We haven't gone down this little lift, which is fine. And then we have some parkour, and I think we can do around here. Oh yeah. That lift might just take me to a um, a dungeon, like a. Hey, there looks like that looks like the homie. Is that Alex? It is. All right, let's go back to the home base. See what we can upgrade. We have 60 some thousand runes. We've got an ancient dragon smithing. All right, let's, what happened to her? I upset the girl. She says that now my chains are broken, I'm free. And if I stay here, I will be ruined with the round table. <laughs> Oh, you survive for freedom now. I smith weapons to slay a god. I have lived and will die doing so upon this spot. Is there any other way? Ooh, we can up upgrade Kristoff now. He is my favorite. I also like this guy a lot. Hell, I would use him more. I was actually, I think I was maining him. But one, he takes uh, more FP special assets. Okay, so if I use this on him, boom. I am not consuming any of these. Okay, I do want to upgrade these. Ghost four. And then we don't have any... All right, I think I'm gonna call it on Elden Ring. I do wanna play some Snap. I think I'm gonna do it all stream. So yeah, I'm gonna end the stream. If anyone's still lurking or hanging out, I appreciate you.